Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number four of the Life Writers Vlog, where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life story. Now, on the third Thursday of every month, what we focus on is a memoir. I have a very strong belief that to be a good writer, you also have to be a good reader. And I think you need to read in the genre you want to write. I believe it's great to read all genres, but you definitely need to read what you want to write. To that end, every month we're going to look at a memoir and talk about what you can learn from that book. You may not have an intention to write a full memoir. You may want to write a handful of stories for your family, and that's great. That is perfectly fine. Anything you get on the page is great but your stories do deserve to be written to the best of your ability. So that's what we're going to look at. One of my all-time favorite memoirs, if you have been around me for more than a second, you have heard me talk about The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. This is an amazing book. It is very well written. It's interesting. It's not necessarily an easy story to read. Her parents were not exactly what you would call ideal parents, far from it. But I love this book for so many reasons. Despite how she was raised, there is not one ounce of judgment in this book. Nothing harsh is said about her parents. She simply tells the story, allows it to play out on the page, and lets the reader have all the emotions and make all the judgments. That is how you want to write a memoir. Just tell the story, let it play out on the page. Much of the book is written in scene, which allows her to let her parents act the way they normally act on the page. Then it's left to the reader to decide what he or she thinks of her parents' actions and choices. Another thing in this book is just an awesome example. A book or story needs a strong attention-grabbing opening. Best way to open a book because you want people to read the next sentence and the next sentence. Wall does this magnificently. After you read the first sentence, you have to read more to find out what the heck is going on. Type of opening she uses is one called In Medius Ray. In Medius Ray. It's I N, another word, M E D I A S third word, R-E-S. It's Latin for in the middle. What that means is the author drops you right in the middle of a situation and the reader doesn't know what is going on, but feels compelled to read on. Let me read this opening sentence to Wall's book for you. She says, I was sitting in a taxi wondering if I had overdressed for the evening when I looked out the window and saw mom rooting through a dumpster. I was sitting in a taxi wondering if I had overdressed for the evening when I looked out the window and saw mom rooting through a dumpster. What do you think? Would you keep reading? I, I bet you would. After that particular sentence opening, she goes on for about two and a half pages at the most. And that's following up from seeing her mother digging through the dumpster. After those two pages and a half, she starts telling the story when she was three years old and then throughout her growing up years and into adulthood. I use this book all the time to teach life story writing because there are so many wonderful examples about how to write stories in an interesting way by allowing scenes to play out on the page. So if you haven't already read this, I hope you will read this book as a writer, not just as a reader, but read it as a writer and look for the ways you can improve your writing by seeing what 
Walls does. Now it's your turn. Share an attention grabbing opening line to a story, either one you've already written or one you plan to write. Put it in the comment section below and then tell us why you opened the story as you did. Until next time, everybody, happy writing. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a get started roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them onto the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.